The anointing alone may not preclude you from the foolishness of your heart. As a result of that, you must be able to checkmate everything that looks like stupidity in your life that doesn't represent God. In dealing with addition, you must check your character, your integrity, your purity, and your holiness. These things are very pivotal. No man of character, integrity, purity, and holiness that will leave an addiction for so long without allowing God to help him. Because these things deal about you. These things will deal with your heart. Many ministers that you see today, they may do wonders in the presence of men. When they leave the presence of God, they become something else. A lady told me, called me, told me about the minister that slept with her. Very popular minister. I said, keep your mouth shut. The man is guilty. It's true. You too are guilty. Don't take glory that you fall a minister. You are as a devil as he is a devil. No man fornicate with himself. No man commit a touch with himself. You are also a partner. If God will judge him, he will judge you. So you, kneel down. Ask God for mercy first before I will talk about the man of God. The truth is this. You must understand that no matter how anointed you are, your flesh can decide to take some part of you. So you need God to help you. As long as we wear this body of death, it will always call us to death. Our strength is in how much more the Spirit of God find expression to our body. And there our soul. Every addiction establishes a pattern that will make you to fall on continual basis. And that's why some people will tell you, that's, that's the way I am. Why? It has become a pattern already. They believe they cannot change. It's a lie. You can change. You are not born like that. I said, a time will come if you are consistent with sinning that you can't get over it. Rather, you will get used to it. That's the way of addiction. Nobody begins drinking alcohol by taking only, by taking five bottles in a day. He may start with just, let me just take small. Tomorrow he eat one bottle. Next tomorrow two bottles. Three bottles. Four bottles. Five bottles. Now he can finish a crate. It's, it, there are levels in the spirit. There is level in this addiction. That's how it works. The gift and the callings of God are without repentance as such. You must be careful. And you must understand that it is grace that has found us and grace must keep us as such. Always subscribe to the grace of God when it comes to this. Truly speaking, there are many people that have followed cunningly devised ways to bring people to the body of Christ. I learned of a lady that went to do evangelism and a man told her that he would only give his life to Christ when he sleep with her. Yes, there are people like that. And the lady actually allowed him to sleep with her. Then she got him born again. And somebody asked me a question. Did she truly save the man? The truth is this. I believe that she got him truly born again. But she also lose her soul. If he truly confesses the lost chip of Jesus. And believe in his heart. He's born again. But she in turn. Have lost her soul. She also need to repent and ask God for forgiveness. But what if something happened within the interim and she cannot repent? And when you come to deal with things like that, sometimes it's not just about whether God forgive you. You can you forgive yourself? There are many things that I've done in the time past that today God forgiving me, but the consequences still come upon me on a daily basis. 
that you were living a wayward life before doesn't mean that now that you give your life to Christ everything will disappear the memories will still remain there that's why your soul is there and if you are not careful those things will draw you back again there is no good way I mean bad way to do a good thing no one guy say he's stealing money so that he will give to the church I say stop stealing Yes, you stole the money, you bring it to a pastor. The pastor may not know. The pastor may be innocent. No, it's the truth. I know of a minister that somebody bought the money later on, they came and said actually it was the money was actually a stolen money. But they have used it for the church. What would they do? You are a thief. It doesn't just change anything. And do you realize that there has never been any award given to people that live a wayward life? You never see the award of the best sex porn actor, or the, the best smoker, the best drunkard, the best masturbator, the best pornographer. No. You would not, never be given an award. Hey, smoking and drinking will never make you a big boy. It will make you a big fool. Big boys and big girls love God and they pray. You will never be awarded for anything that is an addiction that is killing you daily. Even the society knows this is wrong. Many people that are addicted to a lot of things, especially sex, are the ones that are beginning to porn, prostitution. They join baby factories and all kinds of things. How to break the addiction of masturbation? I don't know how we're going to do with time, but now I want to start just few. I will just deal with the principle of masturbation, pornography. Then lesbianism and game, I will join them together. And that's all. When you find yourself involved in masturbation i hope you know what is masturbation i heard that a minister of god said that masturbation is not a sin we were together a couple met me and told me that they were together with a minister the man said while he was growing up in god he went and met his pastor pastor i am masturbating the pastor told him don't worry as long as you are not married everybody has to eat himself sometimes when you feed the urge it's better than you having sex with a lady that was how he, you were with me there that was how the man continued like that and truly speaking this dear man life has been cheated after he got married he discovered that he today is still masturbating that the thing did not stop even after he was married his spirit was involved and he returned back to pastor pastor Nidhi has graduated to view pornography now pastor said doesn't know what to do if i'd happened the pastor helped him dealt with it at that time this would not have happened i have to take him through the protocol share some of this principle to him as i'm talking to you right now he is free of that why he applied this few principle and how then do you break masturbation if you find yourself masturbating See, don't feel bad. Don't accept it as a reality. Never. There are few things you can do. Masturbation, I believe, is another beast that has enslaved ladies and guys alike. Ladies masturbate, men masturbate. I believe it's a serpentine spirit. No wonder many people have spiritual husband and spiritual wife. The union of masturbation is how much more you intercourse with the spirit. When it comes upon you, you must be able to ease yourself by force. There is many people that masturbate who tell you that there is always a spirit that come upon them. Something come upon them to force them. They cannot resist it. That to tell you that it is not something that they decide to do. No, it is an influence beyond their imagination. Some have prayed fast and do all. It is still happening. And to tell you the worst part, pastors, I have seen ministers that masturbate. They finish preaching like this. They return back to their room. Now I'm not joking. 
The anointing will not stop you from masturbating, my friends. It will never. You neglect the principle of God, you will suffer for it. When I say that, don't just hide everything in tongues. No. And do you know that sex does not solve it? It doesn't. You may think that it is just a hormonal change. Somebody told me it's just hormones that is changing. It will start from your hormones changing. It will advance to an addiction. Yes, it's true. A lady told me that what do we do with our sexual urge? I say you are not the first. Mary, that is a virgin, actually has sexual urge too. It doesn't kill you. A guy told me, how can you tell me you have been how many years you have not slept a lady? How is that possible? You are lying to me. I said, everybody is not like you. That's how people believe. Everybody is like that. Not everybody is like that. Actually, this thing can begin as a natural thing to become a spiritual thing. Somebody tell me there is nothing spiritual in you touching you. I say, calm down. It will move to a spiritual thing. People have become so burdened about this to a point that they cannot save themselves. When you continue in that pathway, you will never have a pure mind. It will reduce you to nothing. It will make you feel guilty anytime. Always after you have done that. It goes so well that some people buy sex toy to use, especially ladies. I learned that within your cycle of your ovulation, whatsoever, menstruation, that there are seasons and times when you have increased sexual urge. There are principles you can abide by that will help you go through those seasons without engaging in masturbation. I assure you. Number one thing that I believe you can do is that you must propose in your heart that you want to stop it. As I'm talking to you now, you can say, hey, forget about Apostle Philip. He's just talking in his own tongue. Finish your thing. Go, on. I'll go back and continue my life. You will never change. Many people came by Jesus. And all of what they did was just to question and talk nonsense. Their life did not change. Many people talk when Noah was beating the ark until the water came. The first thing is to accept that you have this problem. And you want to change. You must propose in your heart that I want to stop this thing from today. Then, any time you are in the room, I discover that many people that masturbate, they do it in a secluded environment. Do you know you can never masturbate as we are here? Come on, masturbate here. No matter the level you are, whether you are an arc masturbator, Or a principal, no principality come from principal and origin of something in hierarchy. You will not stand here and masturbate. You need a secluded environment. You need an inner place, a secret chamber. Why do you think people masturbate in secret? Because it's the place of intimacy. It is where you are supposed to fellowship with God, and you go and fellowship with the spirit of darkness. And you perpetuate darkness. You give birth to many more spirits. Anytime you are in that inner place. And you begin to feel the urge to masturbate. Run and come to where people are. That stupid spirit will jump out of you. I'm telling you the truth. Don't remain there and pray in tongues. No, no. Don't do that. You pray in tongues and be blah, 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 blah. Don't do that. Run away. Come to where people are. Stay where they are. Sit there. The spirit will flee away. I'm telling you. Number two thing you can do is to change the atmosphere. Maybe you are playing a song like all this. Baby, I want to love you. I want to feel you. I want to do... Change the song. Put the tongues. Shabbata, bata. You can't do it like that. Change the atmosphere. Put a worship song. Put something... Many things are influenced within an atmosphere. I'm telling you the truth. Also, 
Immediately when you feel like that, report to someone. Call somebody. If you can't call a guy, call a lady. Say, sister, oh, come on. Look at what is happening to me. Oh, I'm feeling this thing. The spirit will run away. His strength is secret. If you have a mentor, call the mentor. Mentor. Say, sir, I don't know what's wrong with my body. I feel like masturbating now. The spirit will run away because you are accountable. When, when the devil came to Eve, he said, did God say, what Eve was supposed to do is that, let me go and ask God, God, what did he tell us again? Devil will run away. But because she continued talking with the devil, the devil deceived her. Report to someone. Fast. And also, never say that is how you are. No. Believe that that is a reality that is not you. You can change that reality. A lot of time, if you have, shout on yourself. When he comes, say, No. I feel himself as will not do this. I will not masturbate. Mind you, you are not shouting to yourself. You are shouting to the spirit in you. I'm telling you the truth. Because an addiction like this of masturbation has a spirit that comes. So when you begin to shout to yourself, you are talking to the spirit. Move up and down your room. I will not masturbate. I will not masturbate. Because you need to be calm. Stay and do it very well. So when you, you are, I will not do it. I will not do it. See, let me tell you, the spirit will be very disappointed in you. Say, thank you for being disappointed in me. At least for the day. Then, also, learn to distract yourself. Help your mind. What do I mean by distracting yourself? Let me tell you. If I sit here now, and I begin to feel something, something with this my beloved sister. What will I do? I will live here. There is no over spirituality in this. If I'm sitting in this place now and I'm feeling something doing me here, I will live here and get distracted doing something. Just go and start sweeping, sweeping your house. Just carry broom. You are swept there. Just start sweeping again. As you are sweeping, the spirit of masturbation will run because it doesn't want you to sleep at that moment. It wants you to open yourself and do something. When you begin to distract yourself, the spirit will say, you are not being obedient to me. At the moment, before you know it, it will go away. Many people, I tell them, call me when you feel that. When they call me, we will start talking. I say, you will not do it today. Not today, at least you are talking to me. I say, can we pray in one minute? Let's just pray, just pray. Before you know it, after five minutes, they tell you they are not feeling it again. Because the thing was needing them to be alone so that it can destroy them. Loneliness kills my friends. And sometimes when you are lonely, the thing will begin to talk to you. And that's why I say, learn to distract yourself. I'm telling you the truth. You can decide to pray now, but you are praying as a distraction. Do you get it now? Not that now you are sitting there, you are trying to do all this kind of religious prayer. You will be speaking in tongues and be doing it. A woman slept with a senator. And she stood up and she said, bah, 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 bah. Senator said, what are you doing? She said she wants to check to see whether the Holy Spirit is still with her. The Holy Spirit will be with you. But you are a long time dead. Distract yourself. It's very important. And I say, try not to be lonely. Occupy yourself doing something. If it means, maybe if you used to stay at home for 24 hours in a day, get a walk. Go and learn tailoring. You cannot be where people are saying clothes and you masturbate. No matter how powerful the spirit is. Go and meet my friend and let popcorn. You can't be where we are doing frying popcorn and you masturbate. We hit your head. The spirit will jump out. I'm telling you the truth. This is not the spiritual. These are the principles that you apply. People have not applied the spiritual thing. They apply this simple, simple thing. It left away. Because I told people, fast and pray. As the guy was fasting, the seventh day, he told me he masturbated again. I said, how is that possible? Because the first thing, they didn't stop it. Learn a skill. Get involved in something. Don't just remain in a workplace. Okay. 